good morning and this is probably not the vlog you would expect to see because we were supposed to be recovering from surgery today or having surgery whatever um casey was due to have surgery on tuesday on monday i got the call at 4:53 that our insurance denied us um we had no idea what procedures procedure should we go down there should we not Long story short, I called the surgical floor around yeah. 8 o'clock the night before. Ellie, I'll help you in a minute. And found out that he that they canceled his surgeries. So I was emailing a person back and forth that evening. And um, a lot of upset. But basically, insurance denied us because um, they felt that he um, could have those procedures done anywhere. Which is true. He could have those procedures done anywhere. However, we felt more comfortable with him being in a children's hospital due to his um, global delays and everything like that, as well as we were denied by an ENT that said we needed to go get a pediatric, um, a pediatric um, second opinion and that he would prefer, prefer that that person did the surgery. So I mentioned this to the woman that morning. She's like, oh, well, that changes the game. She's like, because, um, you know, we may be able to get it approved that way and da 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 so, Currently, I still haven't heard back. Um, I am beyond angry. There are no words to explain what's going on right now. I will not have his surgery unless it is in a pediatric hospital. Um, he is a child that needs it. I've been told by his developmental pediatrician by many doctors to never allow anyone that is not specialized in children to work on him. And that's what I'm doing. Um, he does have the sleep apnea, so it's not anything where it's going to kill him. Um, but it's something that we have to watch. He is going to be sick all the time and it's just something that we're going to have to watch until the insurance company figures out what they're going to do. Um, we do have the option to change insurances in December. So that's something that we could do or, um, we could start to see the local children's hospital here and it's in Lebanon, New Hampshire, which is way far away in New Hampshire. I think it's way up north. Um, it's like two hours away, if not more. And... We'll basically have to start from scratch so it's just been hell it's been pure hell i cried i was angry i've had all emotions um yesterday we decided that we were going to do something fun because jeff had the day off anyways and we took the kids back to the rhode island zoo it was a really good day everyone got along there was no fighting um i wasn't like about to pull my hair out it was just a nice it was the perfect day. We did the zoo. We did this like butterfly extra thing, which if you ever go to the Roger Williams Zoo, don't pay for it. It's a waste of money. We paid $15 to walk through this like room that's so small to see butterflies. Like if you have like a true butterfly lover, maybe do like one or two people, but I would not do it. Everyone. Um, Stay tuned for um, oh, can you put my wallet back in the stall? So yeah, so today um we are going grocery shopping and um maybe doing some back to school shopping um if eliana stay away from the stairs yeah, it's, right there. Here about back to school. it's 33 days until back to school i'm getting the stuff now before we get there and it's not there anymore yeah it's not five weeks i don't even think it's five weeks One, two, three, four. Yesterday ma made it five weeks exactly. So now it's four weeks and like six days. If you go like a week or two before, there won't be anything that you want and you'll be going to school with purple stuff or girl stuff or whatever. So yeah, so we are headed to, um, definitely we have to grocery shop, like a huge grocery trip. Um, and we need to um, maybe go to the mall. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that yet because I have, they've been asking me all summer to go to the mall. And normally we go to the mall, but we haven't this summer. So that's something that we may do. Um, I'm not really sure. I got to get this little monster ready. We're not going to hit, right? Yeah, we're going to love. We're going to love. Nice. It doesn't matter. We're going in the car. We don't need a DS. Okay, and someone has become very addicted to video games, which we're trying to stop because I don't want that habit starting. 
I know you do, but we're going, getting ready to leave. Mama, I can still play in the car. Yeah, but I don't think it's <laughs> charged. I'll really roll them. I don't think it's charged. No, the only reason he's getting mad is because you say, oh, you opened the door and saw the deer. I'm not playing Xbox with you because you're being a jerk about it. And that's another thing. Yesterday we um, said no electronics, no nothing. So they didn't play video games at all. We told them that we didn't want, want them watching TV, but um, like the last hour before bedtime, we let them all watch a little bit of um, TV. But it was nice. It was nice being away. Like I tried to stay off my phone a lot and stay off and stay off my computer and stuff a lot too. Um, so it was just a nice day overall. So we are getting ready to head out. It's nine o'clock, so the mall doesn't even open for a little while, anyways. But I don't want to go to shopping, obviously, and have like stuff there. So I'm gonna go empty out my car, put some stuff in it from the zoo, and then get ready to go. I have to say that as a mom, these big bathrooms are awesome with the sinks, one of which is kid size, changing table, and then a normal toilet and then a little kid toilet. I think they're pretty cool. So now we're going back to the play place. Oh, my mind got. Casey, are you looking to get your ears pierced? <laughs> oh, look what you got that for Ellie. Are you gonna be a princess, Casey? That's what you're looking at. You don't want to be a princess? It's like a cat, a lion on its prey. No, you have jeans. We have plenty of jeans. We have like four or five pairs. No, stay here, Trevor. Don't say that, that's rude, Ellie. If it's ugly, then why are you looking at it? And you're not, you're not getting short sleeve. You're, you're not getting short sleeve. It's recording. Jeggings. And then a bunch of these tank tops. Like you can put one under your shirt. So there's no reason to throw a fit because you didn't get the earrings that you want. No, No, I need you to wear I need you to have tank tops under a certain amount of your clothes. All right, try them to Huh? No. Trevor, look what I found. Crap, Daddy's birthday's coming up. I need to get him something. up in arms like the whole family is like doing this like big um they're just fighting and all this stuff so people have boycotted the stores the workers have walked out it's been like a mess so we don't have that grocery store to shop at 
so we're gonna try Walmart. It sucks because all the stores around here are getting like depleted stock of things. So I was debating on if I should go to Target or Walmart, but I think I'm gonna go to Walmart because um, we need to do like a big grocery haul and this one isn't gonna be, I'm probably gonna hit over my budget for the month because I've been like not grocery shopping and in return eating like crap and in return feeling like crap. So we do need to do um, some sort of grocery shop. Um, so we'll see what we get and I don't have a meal plan so it's gonna be expensive. All right, so I just got back. I'm gonna go through this quick because some of this stuff is melting. We have two things of ice cream, the Briars Blast Reese's chocolate and the chocolate Oreo. Trevor, come here. Um, we promised the kids ice cream last night so that's what we got for them. I got 12 links of sausage, so that's enough for like two dinners um, of like sausage, peppers, and onions. I got 2.25 pounds of ground beef, which is about two dinners. I got um, 2.25 pounds. Put these in the black freezer, please. I got 2.25 pounds of the pork chops. This is probably three dinners. No, the black freezer. I could put it in the white freezer. And then I need Ellie inside. Um, then we got this chicken for, I don't know how many pounds this is, uh, six pounds. So this will be three meals. Um, I grabbed hamburger buns. I grabbed a loaf of wheat bread. I grabbed my favorite magazine. I grabbed an like extra super duper thing of shock because our pool's a little bit green. And then I grabbed this one. I grabbed these. Um, fruit bars for like when we're on the road um, two bushels of bananas a thing of pink lady I think they're called apples crispy pink apples and a thing of strawberries and then whoop we grabbed two things of goldfish um, some of these little yazzle light up sticker things for the kids birthday party um, corn dogs for nights I don't feel like cooking, um, pepperonis for dinners, Gatorade for my husband at work, um, we got these cheese puffs for lunches, and then tortilla chips for, um, you know, whatever, and then, oh, I just picked those tomatoes from my garden, um, what else did we get? Sorry, obviously I asked the kids to come help me bring stuff in. We got some waters for when we go out. Um, one more Gatorade for my husband. We got a bunch of these Greek yogurts for me and strawberry cheesecake. And I forget the other one. I got almond breeze milk. Um, we got these plates at Dollar Tree. I'm hoping I can find blue ones in the big size or green or yellow. And then this tablecloth for the kids party. Um, we got these things for the party because I figure I can make like an aerial themed um, snack table. So we got coral reef cakes, seashell brownies, um, another color of coral reef cakes. I got these chewy bars for us at home. Oh, that's my wallet. Um, this bag of apples at least split open in the store. So I'm not going to take that out right now. There's a bunch of plums, um, a quarter of a watermelon. Um, let's see what's in here. The rest of my yogurts, I grabbed 10 of them because I had two $1 off coupons. Sour cream for like taco nights. Two of these Mio sweet tea things, the Walmart value, I really like them. Two peppers. We're missing a bag. We're missing a bag with like cheese sticks and stuff. Obviously I asked the kids to help me because there's stuff everywhere. Um, let's go downstairs and find the other bag, guys. Go downstairs and look in the walk-in room and see if you guys put the bag down. Search party party. Um, so yeah, most of these snacks I'll put away or I'll split up into these little, um, I have these little, um, snack size bags. Um, and that'll hopefully last because I spent $170. I did grab a lot of meat, which was nice, but I hate spending that much money. But then again, the shock and stuff was a little expensive and it obviously wasn't included. So, I mean, there was some things. Um, I'm pretty sure you saw what we got at Justice. I'll put the bag of apples away now. You're no longer allowed to have any more. 
um, you saw what we got at Justice because Aubrey was throwing fit in Justice. And I spent $50 at Justice, but tomorrow I'm going to go back and apply a coupon. And it'll save me $10 off the total I spent today. We also grabbed cheese sticks, this huge bag. Um, another one of these Yazza things. Um, a big thing of deli meat that has turkey and ham. I hate ham, but Trevor likes it. Another Zazzle thing. And then these are part of the ice cream things that we promised the kids because we figured it's cheaper to get them there. And then finally, Jimbree has extra 40% off um, markdowns. So we grabbed Casey this hoodie that looks like he's a scuba diver. Uh, no, like he's like an ice guy, whatever. So this was on clearance for $4.99. And I ended up paying $2.40 for it. We grabbed Trevor some underwear. Um, this is the main reason we went to the mall. These ones were on clearance for $18.99. We paid $9.12 for them. Aubrey desperately needed another bathing suit because hers was running up her butt. This one was $7.99 and we paid $3.83 for it. And then we got her some like skinny tight jeans. They have this cute little bow accent and then the cute little dots. The, these were $11.99 and we paid $5.75. So um, that's our haul. I'm going to try to get all this stuff put away, get these three rooms cleaned up. And then I'm going to sit down for a little bit because we are all exhausted. Hey guys, so it's obviously later in the night. We got home and um, put all of our stuff away. And I sat on the couch for a little bit. And today is the 30th of July. And they released Disney's... Uh, you're going to win noise, but I'll flip this up. They released Disney's... Um, 2015 rates. So we are going to Disney again in 2015 and we are going in November because I really want to see the Osborne lights. Um, I'm not sure if we'll do Mickey's Christmas party. I'm sure we will, but it just doesn't seem as loved as the Halloween party, but I'm sure we'll end up doing it. But um, and this time we are going to go for um, a day longer and we're gonna get one more day of park passes and we are gonna get park hoppers so that we can do um, Osborne Lights a lot. So that's kind of exciting. Um, it is full room rate right now and no discounts or anything like that so it is kind of high for pricing but I know what our budget is and I know what we're gonna pay and I know what I can save um, off of whatever price we get. Plus, we'll have this year's Christmas plus birthdays plus, yeah, this year's Christmas plus birthdays of next year to get more gift cards, so that's kinda cool. So, um, yeah, that's pretty exciting. Like, I'm pretty excited about it. Yes, it's crazy to do Disney twice in um, like a 14 month time period, but, um, you know, it's really not that hard. Like, I was talking to a friend the other day. Dunkin' Donuts, five bucks a day. Let's just say five days a week. Sometimes you go more, sometimes you go less. Sometimes you spend more, sometimes you spend less. That's like um, $1,500 a year or something like that. And then um, you go to um, Out to Eat, 65 bucks a year. Or 65 bucks a month. Um, 65 bucks a month um you know once a month that's like I think $600 and then um going to fast food once every two weeks is another I think like 1000 or 1300 something like that so that's almost three grand right there like that you can cut if you just don't eat out as much and I think our kids would much rather go to Disney than go out to eat but um yeah so I'm headed to Target now I'm gonna see what they have there and do some school shopping and then I'm headed home the worst possible angle ever but I am headed home now and 
I just wanted to say that tomorrow is August 1st, which officially starts August, but for me, it officially starts my having to get my crap into gear because I've been being a big fat lazy slob and letting my depression get to me. Um, I suffer from extreme expression, expression, depression and anxiety, and it has been through the roof. I have actually had quite a few panic attacks um, and things of that nature. And I haven't been my best and I haven't been taking care of myself and it's just not good. So my doctor said today I, I have to force myself, sorry it's really dark, I have to force myself to um, work out. I have to get rid of the crap in the house and force myself to eat right. Um, I just have to do it. There's no... I, I can't keep doing this to myself or I'm, I'm going to hurt myself. Not hurt myself like kill myself, but like I'm going to like hurt myself like putting all this crap into my body and, and, and things of that nature. So tomorrow starts Skinny to Disney. Um, basically we have the 30 or 31 days of August and then the 12 days before we leave. Um, in those days I am planning on eating eggs, an egg and cheese wake up wrap a Luna bar with fruit, uh, if I have an egg and cheese makeup wrap it'll be with fruit, or oatmeal with fruit for breakfast. For a midday snack, I plan on having some sort of fruit, or fruit and yogurt, or nuts, things of that nature. For lunch, I will be eating my Copycat Wendy's BLT Chicken Cobb Salad. It's a very filling salad, and it still tastes very, very yummy. Um, if I am out, I have to grab a salad of some sort, no matter what, um, lunch has to be a salad. Um, my midday snack, I can have a Luna Bar if I didn't have one for breakfast, um, some veggies with dip, um, and, or, you know, something like that. And then for dinner, I, um, can have whatever we're eating, but I'm going to omit the pasta omit the breads, omit the things like that. So basically I'll be eating more meat, veggies, um, things of that nature. Um, he wants me to take a walk with the kids every day and that's good for them anyways for Disney. So we are going to do, um, I'm going to start with one mile, um, or like one loop around my neighborhood and see what that comes out to be. And then each week we're going to add like a half of a loop to it. And um, we are going to have Casey walk some of it and ha have him not walk the other. I'm going to push Casey in the stroller and wear Ellie so it should be a nice workout for me. And then, excuse me, um, I am going to run outside two days a week. And I'm going to go to the gym two days a week. I'm going to give myself um, three days off. Sometimes two, if um, if I can handle it, you know what I mean. So um, yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. That's my plan. Um, I gotta do it. I gotta stick to it. It's for my health. I am so freaking heavy right now, and I'm so uncomfortable in my own skin that I don't even want to go anywhere anymore. Um, and he said that I should start feeling better. I'm also gonna be on some vitamins. Um, to try to boost me a little bit too, but let's see how much, you know, weight I lose be between now and Disney. I, I think I'm, I'm pretty high up there. I'm, I'm, I'm well into my 200s, so, um, hopefully I go down a little bit. Um, I'm not buying new clothes for Disney, so it'll just make my clothes fit a lot better. So, that's the plan. That's it for today's vlog. Sorry it was a lot on my face, but, um, it was just a shopping day.